Hi everybody, this is the Math 31 integration review. This is question 4B. Okay, I just got to integrate this definite integral here. And yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do substitution here. I, I see in the denominator this cosine squared. I'm gonna let u equal the cosine of theta. I'm like, I just look at this. If I was to take the derivative of this, I would end up having to do the chain rule down here. So that makes cosine of theta a good choice. I know additionally that at some point I'm going to have to change uh, the differential. So I'm just going to get ready for that now. So du over the negative sine of theta is going to be equal to d theta. So now I'm going to rewrite this integral, but I'm going to also change the limits of integration. Okay. So if I plug zero into the cosine here, the cosine of zero is just going to be one. So at the lower limit, u will be equal to one. And if I plug pi over three into to theta, I'm, I'm going to get, now this is kind of an interesting uh, an interesting thing to happen, but don't worry about it. Just just run with it. If you plug pi over three, ooh, sorry, in for cosine, you get one half. So we're integrating from a higher value to a lower value. Don't worry about that. That is going to have an impact on the sign of the overall answer, and I don't need to worry about that. I just got to let it happen. So this is going to end up being of uh, the sine of theta over u squared, and this will end up being d u over negative sine theta, and I'll put that in brackets. So the sine theta is canceling, we're end, we end up with uh, the integral, and I'll pull the negative out front, okay, the ne uh, integral of du over u squared from 1 to 1 half. Okay, well this is the like u to the negative 2, so the integral of that is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the the exponent up one, so negative two goes to negative one, and I'll divide by the, the negative one. And what that's going to do is cancel with the negative here. So this actually ends up being very, very simply one over u, and I will evaluate that between one half and one. Okay? And so that means I'm going to get one over one half minus one over one. Or in other words, two minus one, or just one.